Uh, this was a just a parade of of like uh, uh, of Trump clown clown uh, posse, I guess you could say. And uh, of course, when there's an opportunity for uh, someone to get some publicity, you know, you know that this guy, Alan Dershowitz, is not going to be far away. And we also know it's going to be really about how he is being persecuted. Mm. Yeah, just real quick in the last 30 seconds I have. I don't understand. Is it if that first motion says motion to dismiss on statute of limitations, uh, doesn't the judge have to say, hey, look, the statute of limitations is two years for bookkeeping in a misdemeanor. This exceeds two years. I have to dismiss. No, because judge doesn't want to be Dershowitz. Remember what happened to me when I defended President Trump on Martha's Vineyard? None of my friends would talk to me. No Democrats would talk to me. Can you imagine a judge in Manhattan dismissing a case against Donald Trump? He'd never be spoken to again. His life would be ruined. Do you expect judges to be courageous? You might expect law professors to be courageous, but elected judges are never going to be courageous. There's no chance he gets a judge who has the ability and the willingness to confront the people of New York. Remember, the New York Times had a story yesterday saying that when Bragg initially decided not to indict, he was Hillary in New York. He was attacked. Yeah, right. Pressure yeah. and gave in. The judges will do the same thing. Uh, well, speaking of Jeffrey Epstein, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but there's Alan Dershowitz basically saying that, uh, you know, conceding that, uh, the way that uh, judges function in our society and really indicting uh, the entire legal system. Mm -hmm. um, there are some questions about statute of limitations. I mean, I think that's yeah. fair. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Ellie Mistal made an argument about that. But there are also some uh, later provisions in, in, in that uh, we don't know what these 34 felonies are, and it could involve uh, some type of uh, lying subsequent to the actual acts. I mean, it could be just the cover up of the cover up in the first place. Yeah. But um, we will have more information on this in a couple hours when more things become public about the arraignment. And just one more thing about Alan Dershowitz. He says that Martha's Vineyard story without any sense of like irony or understanding that he was made into a national joke by complaining that he didn't have the same social life on Martha's Vineyard for defending Trump. He was Dershowitz. And like the inconsistency <laughs> with Republicans, like, I, you know, DeSantis shipping migrants to Martha's Vineyard, like hell on earth for, you know, uh, that's that's where all the liberals go. And then Alan Dershowitz just still wants to be a part of that polite society. It really just goes to show that their their complaints about liberals are not just about who they are or where they hang out. It's just that they're not included to those clubs. Yeah, poor Alan Dershowitz. I know. Very sad. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, John Nichols, the national co affairs correspondent for The Nation magazine, on uh, really the, the, the uh, without a doubt, more important uh, goings on on this uh, Tuesday. We'll be right back. Sam's uh, big gaming chair. Fun fact, Dershowitz was recently a guest on Alex Jones' Infowar. What a fall from any sort of legitimacy. Yeah, it really is amazing. The, the, the desperation that you've got to have to be on TV. Honestly, right? I mean, He's one of the worst people living in America right now, Alan Dershowitz. This is the thing that I don't really understand, you know, and I look, I, I was on TV for sitcoms. I was on TV for uh, like. I, I don't know. Uh, sitcoms, I think, was was basically it. And then I've done like I have filled in on these news programs back in the day and I certainly have done a lot of guest spots and the compulsion that some of these people feel to be on TV I, I, I can't even wrap my head around it I mean what like if I'm if I'm Dershowitz what like what like what possible reason would I ever have to go on Alex Jones like you can't possibly think this is a guy who's providing an, a valuable service to people. Like I can understand like if somehow you were able to manage to think that, that there are people out there watching it and you're going to provide a valuable service to people. But the, the level of, de, of, of depraved, like the, like it, 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 it's just shocking to me. It's just shocking to me. Like the guy has had a, uh, you know, 
far more of his share of publicity over the years. Like, how does that not satiate you? Just take your money and go home. Like, Especially uh, given his age, like, and the recent uh, Jeffrey Epstein kind of rev revelations where people associate him with that, with with sex trafficking. Like, just go away. Uh, do you don't think that going on uh, Alex Jones is going to sort of like somehow revive your career, your 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 dignity in any way? I mean, it really is. Um, Alan. <laughs> well, but it's it's fascinating to sort of see people. I mean, look. I was never a huge fan of Dershowitz to begin with, but certainly he has moved, you know, uh, he has, he has slid in and, and you see this with a lot of like, you know, these, uh, these sort of, you know, that, that crew of, of people who sort of like they get, they start like they, they start smelling their own farts and it gets them high on their own supply. And the, the idea, like, I mean, it, it, it is the compulsion. I, I mean, that's, that's what was going on with uh, Greenwald. I mean, largely, I mean, he, he, yeah. uh, you could track his entire ideological shift if there, the, when he no longer was allowed to go on MSNBC yeah. because uh, Rachel was not that interested. And then, uh, you know, uh, uh, I think Hayes had him on a couple of times and then, you know, they didn't, they didn't, you know, MSNBC is like, uh, you know, it is what it is. And they uh, they didn't want to have them on anymore. OK, so you're not getting on TV anymore to like change your entire political outlet uh, outlook because of I don't know how much you changed. But um, the way that you operate because of that really strange to me. But yeah. All right. Five more of these. Libtardo, too. Just voted in Wisconsin. Can I get a show far? Yes, you can. 